Hi, my name is Michelle Sweeney and I'm a music teacher. Today I'm going to teach how to play on the ukulele, a song called I Am a Child of God. And this song, we're going to start at the end. You know, when I'm learning a new song, a lot of times I like to start at the very end and learn the ending first. Do you know why? Because then every time as I learn a little bit more and a little bit more, I always get to finish the song and feel like I've learned the whole thing. So I'm going to teach you the last four, um, the last five chords of the song at the very beginning so that you'll always be able to play all the way to the end as we continue to learn it. So we'll start with teach me all that I must do to live with him someday as the very ending of the song. And then I'm going to work backwards from there and teach you the part that's just before that. And then we'll do the verse and, and we'll kind of work that way. All right. So. Teach Me All That I Must Do has uh, a lot of chord changes. So we only do two strums of each chord. We start with C, and then C7, and then F, and D minor, and now finally G7 four times, and C. And that's the end of the song. So we start with C twice, C7 twice, F twice, and then D minor twice. Then finally we get to do G7 four times, and C is the very last chord, okay? So C, C7, F, D minor, G7 four times, and C. So those are the final chords for the last line of the song. Let's try it with the words. Teach me all that I must do to live with him someday. Good. Now there's one chord in there you may not know. Most of these chords are very beginner chords. So C is the third finger on the third fret, and then C7 is the first finger on the first fret. F, I hope you already know, that's these two fingers. But D minor, it looks almost exactly like F. Do you see the difference? What am I doing? I'm shifting my second finger so that my second finger is actually pressing down on two strings at the same time. So I am pressing on this string to change it to an A. And then I'm also pressing on this string to change the C to a D. So I am pressing on both of these at the same time. So I flatten my second finger to play D minor. So we go from F, where you're just pressing on these two strings, to D minor, where you're actually pressing in three different places. Now some people like to play the D minor chord like this. So you tuck that third finger in there, and you can also do it that way if that's more comfortable for you. I, I prefer just pressing my second finger flat and getting those two strings, but I have kind of big fingers, so that's how I like to do it. And if you think it's easier to do it this way, that's totally fine, okay? So we have C, C7, F, D minor, and then G7 is a chord where you press in three different spots. It's shaped like a triangle, so we go boop, these three strings that you press down. This is probably the hardest chord in the song because you're having to press on three different spots. And um, this one is one you'll have to practice if you haven't learned it before. This is the G7 chord. So G7 is like that. So you've got these fingers on the second fret and this finger sort of in a triangle shape above it. So it's shaped like that, that triangle spot. Okay, that's G7. We do that four times, and then C. Okay, so G7 is probably the trickiest. Might be a toss up between G7 and D7. D7 is a chord we do in the earlier part of the song, so I'll teach you that in a little bit. Okay, so those are the chords for the very last line. Now let's sing through that part. So starting with C, we do C, C7, F, D minor, and then G7 four times, and C. Okay? T That's the 
ending part of the song. Now let's go back a little bit farther to where it says, lead me, guide me, walk beside me, help me find the way. So the chords for that, we each chord is strummed four times in a row. We do C four times, and then G, and then G7, and C, okay? So C, two, three, four, and G, two, three, four, and now switch to G7. G7, two, three, four, and C, two, three, four. That's lead me, guide me, walk beside me, help me find the way. Let's try it with the music. of I am a child of God. Great job. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here and do this in two sections so that you can practice this chorus part until you get it really, really good, okay? And then once you've got the chorus part, I want you to learn the verse. So keep practicing. 